Hold on to your hats, folks, because Alabama's at it again. This time it's not about football or sweet tea, but something far more serious. The Department of Justice, or DOJ, is suing Alabama over some questionable activities with their voter rolls. Yes, you heard that right. Seems like they tried to bounce over 3,000 people right before the election. That's a lot of folks potentially losing their right to vote. The problem? There's this little thing called the National Voter Registration Act, or NVRA. It's been around since 1993, ensuring fair play and voter registration. It has a rule no mass purges within 90 days of a federal election. This rule is designed to prevent last minute chaos and ensure everyone has a fair chance to vote. It's like a political ceasefire, but with fewer landmines and more hanging chads. Remember those from the 2000 election? Yeah, not fun. The DOJ says Alabama's purge targeted folks initially flagged as non-citizens. Sounds reasonable, right? Well, not so fast, except some might have become citizens since then. Citizenship isn't a static status. People can and do become citizens over time. Others might have been flagged by mistake. Oops. Mistakes happen, but when it comes to voting rights, those mistakes can have serious consequences. The lawsuit aims to put those voters back where they belong, on the rolls, and ready to vote. Because in a democracy, every vote should count, and every voice should be heard. This 90-day rule isn't arbitrary. It's a safeguard designed to ensure fairness and transparency in the electoral process. It's there for a reason. The rule provides a buffer period to address any discrepancies or issues that might arise. Imagine getting to the polls and finding out your name's been scrubbed. It's a nightmare scenario for any voter. You've got less than three months to fix it. Good luck with that. The clock is ticking and the pressure is on, especially if you're working two jobs, taking care of family or juggling multiple responsibilities. Life doesn't pause for bureaucratic hurdles. The challenges are real and can be overwhelming. That's why this timing is so crucial. It ensures that everyone has a fair chance to participate in the democratic process. Purging rolls close to an election can disenfranchise eligible voters, plain and simple. It's a tactic that undermines the very foundation of democracy. It's like changing the locks on election day and claiming you're just trying to keep the place tidy. The impact is clear. It prevents people from exercising their right to vote. Now, Alabama's Secretary of State, Wes Allen, isn't backing down. He says he's just doing his job, making sure only U.S. citizens vote. He claims the purge was about accuracy, not shenanigans. But critics ain't buying it. They're calling foul, claiming this is voter suppression, plain and simple. They argue that these purges disproportionately target minority communities who often face bigger hurdles to voting. This case boils down to a classic battle, the right to vote versus efforts to restrict it. Section 4. A Familiar Tune Voter Suppression Across the Nation Sadly, this isn't just an Alabama thing. All over the country, we're seeing a wave of voter ID laws, restrictions on early voting, and you guessed it, purges. It's like a greatest hits album of voter suppression tactics. Those in favor say it's about preventing fraud, but let's be real, folks. Voter fraud is about as common as a sober night in Las Vegas. This is about making it harder for certain people to vote, plain and simple. Section 5. What happens in Alabama doesn't stay in Alabama potential outcomes. So, what's next in this legal showdown? The stakes are incredibly high and the implications could be far-reaching. Well, it could go a few ways. The court's decision will set a precedent that could influence similar cases nationwide. The court could side with the DOJ putting those voters back on the rolls. This would be a significant win for voting rights advocates or they could rule in favor of Alabama, potentially opening the floodgates for more aggressive purges across the country. This could lead to a wave of voter suppression efforts. This case isn't just about 3,000 voters in Alabama, it's a microcosm of a larger battle over who gets to participate in our democracy. It's about the future of voting rights in America. The outcome will resonate far beyond Alabama's borders. It's a reminder that our democracy is a fragile thing and we've got to fight like hell to protect it. Every vote counts, and every voice matters. The decisions made here will echo through the halls of justice and into the lives of everyday Americans. Section 6. The Long and Winding Road. The Future of Voting Rights. No matter what happens in court, this isn't the end of the story. The fight for voting rights is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about constantly pushing back against efforts to restrict the vote and ensuring everyone has an equal say in our democracy. 
So, stay engaged, stay informed, and most importantly, stay vigilant. Because when it comes to protecting our democracy, we can't afford to be complacent.